Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Let me stop playing around. How are you? It's Saturday, the, 20th, the 17th of February. And uh, it's one of those beautiful Saturday mornings. I hope you had a very good evening. I hope you slept well. I was um, I was in the bed and I had worked and I said, surely, truly. Uh, after working all day long, I'm going to come back home and I'm going to crawl up, put my stuff clothing away and everything, you know, crawl up in that bed, and I am going to enjoy looking up and catching up with uh, some, some uh, series that I've been watching, and um, I mean, Kevin Bacon is, that's an actor. You don't get many actors that uh, know how to play a part. And um, I think it's called City on a Hill, y'all. I am, I just, some things, you know, they, 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 they go on and on and they, they just the same thing, series after series. But uh, I, I got this, uh, <sighs> Man, I'm hooked on City on a Hill. And uh, I think it comes through the Stars Network or something. There's been quite a few good ones. Um, also, Raising Cain, that's a good one. And, um, hey, I, I enjoy. Uh, that's why I got internet. I don't like TV. TV is redundant and ridiculous, you know. but um, internet, I pick and choose the time, the season, the uh, episode, I choose, I'm in charge, and I pay for it, thank you Jesus. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and uh, it's Saturday, and this is Just In Case. I love you. I love you. I love you. I thank God for you. You are my sisters and brothers in the Lord, and you're watching me grow as I watch you grow. Okay? You, conf uh, you Facebook constituents, don't think I ain't watching you. Yeah, I am. Iron sharpeneth iron with most of you. Y'all know how we do. You learn something from me, and I'm learning something from you. Mm hmm. Yeah. I also, uh, this week I've, I've heard, uh, I had to listen to uh, T.D. Jakes twice. Same sermon, twice. And he's talking about our influence, our influence, okay? Oh, man, I got to tell you, I, I'll tell you a little bit of what he said, what it, what, what came into my head. And um, like my mother said, uh, chew the meat and spit out the bones. Uh, you know, I wonder why that man has so much influence. It's because he's humbled, number one. Number two, He's a leader. Number three, he paid for that influence. Okay? That man been through something to get where he is today. He's been through something. Talking about lights off and, 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 and you know, different things he's going through, sufferings, and, and he, the half haven't been told. You know, and then he got kids too, please. You know churn. Uh-huh. 
You don't want to tell a business, but uh, he's been through. His wife has been through. And I remember them way back in the Bronx when they first started out. Mm, I do. Uh, he came to Abundant Life Tabernacle on 3rd Avenue and across from the projects. He used to run, uh, we had tent revivals back on 149th. Um, man, back in the day, that's how we were able to uh, enjoy T.D. Jakes, not only T.D. Jakes, but Jones. Um, what's the name's brother? I forgot his name. Bishop Noel L. Jones. Man, we enjoyed some of those leaders and were face-to-face -face in their assemblies before they blew up, okay? Before they blew up. Um, what's her name? Who's got a powerful message and they hard on her though. Um, little girl from uh, Brooklyn. What's her name? Anyway, I forgot her name. And uh, a lot of women, they hard on. Women preachers, they hard on you. Especially if you uh, a black woman preacher, they hard on you. Public is hard on you. Okay? But Jacqueline McCullough, hmm, child, she's still. Still. It's a lot of them. And the one I'm talking about is, golly gee, well, I forgot her name. Anyway, let's pray, y'all. Let's pray. I ain't going to stay long before you because y'all know how I do. Maybe if I'm short or winded. But either way, I'm going to do what the Lord told me to do, whether you like it or not. But I love you. And guess what? The Lord loves you more than I do. And we are to keep our eyes on him and not on each other. You know what I mean? You know, we want to influence people. But man, we want to be effectively influenced by the most high God. I got something I got to tell you. Come on, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for the influential saints of God in my life. Lord, those who have poured into my very soul. Lord Jesus, taught me how to love, taught me how to overcome, taught me how to wait. I remember T.D. Jakes telling, I know that he was speaking to me, had to be. Told me to wait, just be patient and to wait. Hmm. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for that uh, the young woman, the evangelist, that uh, she spoke about sheets, something about sheets. Anyway, she became quite, uh, and she's still going on in the name of Jesus, and I love her. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for most importantly helping me and Facebook to keep our eyes on you. That's how we're going to make it. We're going to keep our eyes on you. That's how we're going to make it. And um, Lord, thank you for the strength you give us. Use us today to give you the glory and all the honor that you so wonderfully deserve. All the glory belongs to you and the honor. So Lord, whether we're effective in our speaking or we think we're effective, or whether we uh, don't influence, because you're going to influence people either way, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us to keep our eyes on you. We love you. We thank you. We praise you. Father God, even for the little people that affect us, they affect us. We affect each other. Bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Well, saints, I am Mother Gail Trailer. It is Saturday, 917. I got things to do in this house. Um, how was your week? Blessed? Good. Good. Mine was blessed as well. 
Hmm. It went by and, and uh, you know, I did what he told me to do. I, I, but I still had trouble sometimes with the focus. You know, I sometimes focused on this, that, and the other. I still tried to be persistent with that. You know. Now we ask people off because they are frustrating, because they don't quite act like, you know, that they're being affected by the word. They don't look like they're growing in Jesus Christ. Who are we to judge? And we write them off, you know. We say, well, no. She's too carnal. I can't deal with her. He's too, you know, can't deal with him. You know, we act like we're God and we aren't. I'm going to give you some scripture. That's going to show you a little bit about how David was, um, he was, challenged in his lifetime and and you know he he w went through the frustrations he went through the you know people not liking him and people uh, uh scorning him and talking about him and hating him and setting traps for him he went through all of that he went through depression he went through, um, you know, when you, you sin and, and, and you, you fall and you in the, you know, you just a shame of yourself for being so weak in your faith. Or you, you, you know, you're falsely accused. He just went through a whole lot. Went through a whole lot. And, um, it's going to be found in Psalm 31 and 7. Okay. Um, after I read that. Well, I wonder, should I read this first? It's from Maya Angelou. And how she dealt with her affliction. What she thought about her trouble and her trial how she found the inner strength. And it had to be from God to overcome. It's called Still I Rise. And I'm reading this because I want the Word of God to stick with you strongly. I can put this right now but that last word that you hear come out of my mouth is going to be the word of god because although uh maya is uh long gone and um although hmm, she wrote beautifully published quite a few books although she's a woman although she's black like me I don't get my help my strength my power from her I get it from the word okay the word and uh, she writes a poem that I enjoyed and I enjoy it still um, chew the meat and spit out the bones children Okay. Maya Angelou wrote a poem called Still I Rise. And it uh, it has really affected a lot of people. Okay. Listen to this. It says, you may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I got 
oil wells, pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still like air I rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise? That I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history, shame I rise. Up from the past, like rooted in pain. Up from the past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling. I hear in the tide, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror, fear and fear, I rise into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. I, I thought that poem was awesome. Uh, as a, as a, a person that's She's been in my lifetime. I've never never read the whole thing, but I know that that three word uh, verse, yet still, that's four words, yet still I rise. We go through so much in life. Sometimes it's because of our um, our, where we have been brought up, or sometimes it's because of our skin, or because of our language. We, we have gone through quite a bit. And uh, I believe, like David, that within me is the power to rise. See, Maya Angelou and, and, and quite a few others, Shakespeare himself, they had a, an inner core that had to be grounded in the Lord, had to be. There's no way in the world you can rise without something like yeast something that's powerful, something that takes its time, okay? And that's what we have within us, saints. We rise, no matter what we are, black, white, male, female. In Christ we rise. Now listen to what David said. This is taken from the 31st Psalms, 7th verse, uh, 31st Psalm. I'm going to read that. It's Saturday. I have a few minutes. Hope you do. It says, My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak. 
because of all my enemies. I am the utter contempt of my neighbors and are uh, and an object of dread to my closest friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. I'm forgotten as though I were dead. I have become like broken pot poetry or pottery, for I hear many whispering. Terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. Mm -hmm. Maya Angelou does not bring God to the surface. She brings her history, her hardship, her what she thinks her enemy is is thinking about her or saying. She's consumed in the outer peripheral of her being, which is important to, to know your history. It's important to realize um, that you have enemies. It's important. It's important to do better. It's important to 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 love yourself it's important but what's really important to david the psalmist was the fact that uh, he trusts in god no matter what was happening on the outside i'm sure maya angelou knew the lord how do you rise without him? How do you go upward? How do you succeed? How do you go forward unless there's a power within you? Through the whispering, he says, though being forgotten like he was dead, that's what he says in the 31st Psalm, being the contempt of your neighbor. He came through that and he was a king. Okay. His strength failed because of being so afflicted. Sometimes you get tired. You get weary of well-doing. But still through it all, through the grieving processes, the losses, the gains, I trust in you, David said. I say, you are my God. Child, no matter what, I say, you are my God. And he had to say that because he proved it. He proved that God was, you know, his. He wouldn't give God up. He wouldn't have made it without him. Okay. He trusted God. And I trust him. And you trust him. And don't stop trusting him. For everything. Each and every day. Keep your focus, baby just in case.